Greetings everyone, from less to even less. At this rate, I'll soon be testing nano amplifiers. The smallest audio amplifier board. There will be bigger boards in the next issues. This is a single channel amplifier for connecting one speaker. With a maximum output power of 2 watts at 4 ohms. You can connect to it acoustics from 4 to 32 ohms, that is, use it as a headphone amplifier. Here is the PAM8302, everything is simple in terms of connection. Here you connect your speaker system. On the other side of the board is signed where the audio input plus and minus. In our case, you need to jumper the audio minus to ground. Shutdown will not be needed today. Here's the plus power supply from 2 to 5 volts. Of course we'll supply more today, this is the last battle after all. Power minus. And here's a little volume control like this. I apply power and we hear a terrible sound. But if you connect the minus of the audio input and the ground, everything is fine. At first of there is no background, but there is loud music. Now I'll listen to it a bit, give my opinion and let's kill it. It's fun. And what can I say? There is no great desire to listen to this amplifier. And not even a little desire. Why not? Listen for yourself. Do you hear a little wheeze? If not, I'll switch on the scene wave. Now it makes more sense. It's like an overload on the input signal, but that's not possible. I've also tried putting various filters on the output of the amplifier, nothing works. I cannot advise you to buy it, or as the second option, I got a defective board. Which means what? You can destroy it without remorse. There is no point in connecting a multimeter to the input. It simply cannot measure the voltage correctly with such a noisy signal. Choke on the output does not improve the situation much. Therefore, connect a 4 ohm resistor to the output, look at the current consumption at different voltages and from this we get some power. At the input I supply a scene wave with frequency 1000 Hz, power supply 5.2 volt, load 4 ohm. The efficiency of D-class amplifiers is about 90%. Look at the power value at the bottom of the screen and subtract 10% from it. I add gain to maximum and see 3.2 watts. So the output power is about 2.7 watts. I increase the supply voltage to 6 volts. At this point, the power becomes lower for some reason. And when it reaches 6.5 volts, the voltage protection kicks in. What is the world coming to? You can't even burn an amplifier properly anymore. Now let's connect the speaker and listen to the music. Six point three volts and the protection kicks in. Or is it not protection and I've managed to ruin the amplifier after all? Yes, it's the end. The work of a professional. Who's good? I did it. Well it's okay, I don't feel sorry for him at all. Because the amp's rubbish, that's for sure. That's it. We'll have something more serious in the next video. Thanks for watching. Good luck, bye.